Humming Spoon to a theater near you. It's your boy, Nikita. What's up? Welcome to the stream, everyone. Happy to be here. It is colder than a mother bumper in Texas, and I don't like it. So I get to be a snowman slash penguin slash streamer dude person man, I guess. Something like that. It's cold and it's gonna get colder. And look, let me tell you something. As a southern boy from Texas, I don't like it. I don't, I I understand that you can keep putting on layers to get warmer and stuff, but I like like I can survive the heat. Like you throw me in a hundred and five and I'm fine. But if you put me in like anything below 60 i'm gonna cry nate said it's like negative 28 by him oh yeah see i would just die i would just pass away i just i would just pass away there's no way i could i could handle that it's supposed to get down to like 19 on thursday here and i'm going to scream i'm just going to scream like i'm going to come on stream and i'm just gonna be like ah, ah, the entire time there's just no products it's just me screaming the entire time but I, I luckily for me, I have my very comfortable bed shirt, hoodie blanket, and this thing is so soft and warm and it keeps me happy. And I also got a cool new light in the back that I just made a video for that I still need to upload. But I love this thing. That light's pretty, pretty cool. It's like the coolest light I've ever owned. And it does a bunch of stuff and cool effects. And this video coming soon. But uh, without further ado, we're going to be doing some really cool pro actually i think outside of like one product everything tonight is mine so please feel free to ask questions because i promise you i can answer them but the first product that we're doing today is currently one of the ones that we have on giveaway that we're going to be doing giveaway for i believe the end of the first week of july or not july january wow july i wish it was july it's warm in july <sighs> But uh, January 7th, 2023, obviously, in the new year, we'll be doing a giveaway for the Fantic Evo 300, which is also the first product in the carousel, as I mentioned earlier. And I love this thing. I like the idea of products like this, mostly because, one, I guarantee you guys, like, in Texas, when this polar storm, there's a bug on my wall. What can I smash it with? Compressed air. Ah! <laughs> Get wrecked, bug! <laughs> okay, but uh, I can already tell you that um, like because of the cold, I'm predicting like there's going to be intermittent power outages. So like a product like this Fantic Evo 300 is going to come in handy because it's better to have it and not need it. It's needed and not have it. And if, I, if the power goes out, it's going to come in handy. Oh, let's see. Nikita, I received that e-scooter that I won a couple of streams ago. Unfortunately, the weather in NJ is cold and the days are too short. I promise to share a photo of it in the Discord. Oh, let's go, PC Phil. I was so happy when you won that scooter. Um, You got the, the, the GXL V2, right? That was the one that you won? That thing is amazing. I love it. It's great. It's, it's really great. It's, 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 it's amazing. I love go track stuff. But yeah, um what I was saying was, did my light stop? My light stopped. Um yeah, that thing is awesome. But yeah, like this Fantic product is one of those products that I consider in the insurance category and it's it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And like I said, I'm kind of I'm I'm glad mine is fully charged right now because with the temperature dropping and people in Texas being freaking out, like freaking out from the instant free or like the flash freeze or whatever it is, um it's going to come in handy. Like I already know that I'm probably going to lose power for a little bit come Thursday or Friday, but we'll see. We'll see. God willing, nothing bad will happen, but we'll see. And yeah, PC Phil, as soon as you test drive it, let me know what you think. It's got some really cool features. Uh, what I will say is though, personally, like go easy on the brakes when you first started. Like don't just kind of squeeze it like an old school. Well, I guess most old school scooters had the back press, but just don't squeeze it hard. Um, cause you will, like, if you're going past 10, you will like fly over that thing. Like there were twice when I was first doing where I thought I was going to fly over the handlebars and luckily I didn't, but 
without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first product of the evening, the Fantic Evo 300. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm sure you guys will love it. Hey guys, Nick Nikato with Dragon Bloggers here to show you a absolute bad beast of a power station. This is the- Alright, I just want to let you know that in this video, I said beast completely and 100% only to make fun of Nate. I just want to let you guys know that. Antec Evo 300. <laughs> yeah, the real sheer time. Yeah, that, yeah, don't, yeah, don't step on that thing. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to, cause I, you know what? Um, I know a lot of people, myself included, who would try to step on that just out of habit. Cause like I grew up riding scooters and let me tell you something, no pain can compare to that scooter swinging around and hitting you on that ankle. You feel like you're about to die, but yeah, it, it's it's really cool though. You're you're gonna love it, PC Phil. I already know. And this thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, before we get into the main unit itself, I'm gonna bring you down here to show you the cool little box that Fantic comes with it. Okay, so basically all that comes in this part is like the plugs and stuff necessary to charge it, which is really cool because you can not only charge it through an AC outlet, but you can charge it in your car too. So like if you're without power and you haven't charged your little power bank you can take it out to your car turn on your car and charge it so that you can warm up in the car and then bring it back inside and i'm saying warm up as if everyone's going to be using this in a polar storm but i'm cold okay i get great I, I man i just messing up words i get grumpy when i'm cold okay Let's see, I have an old school Razor scooter from the 90s, rear step brake used normally. I know, like it, it, it took all, in, all of my might to like not press on that rear thing. And it was even worse because the kids scooters that I tested before the adult scooters do have the back rear brake. And so I really wanted to press it after that. Put an input and in how much time is left remaining, whether you're, it's time remaining in the actual power station itself or time remaining to charge it. Now, another feature, I've got some cool little gadgets and gizmos here to demonstrate how this thing works with. So first, I'm going to be using my Apple Watch since there's a USB plug-in on the left side. So I have my USB um, plug-in for my, my Apple charger and then my Apple Watch itself. Now, I'm going to turn the display back on and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so we can see the display more clearly. Now, you see this button right here? This is DC on and off. Now, this is your DC side. So, we're going to hit that button. DC is now on. So, when I plug this into this USB 3.0 slot right here, and I plug my watch in, now it's charging. It was completely dead. See? You can see the icon goes green, and now it's charging, and it even tells you... Um, you so this is probably like my favorite part about this thing are, are the analytics that you get from using it. You can see the output of whatever devices you have plugged in. It tells you how long it will last. And then the same with the input. When you have power going into it, like you have it plugged into a wall, it will tell you how much wattage it's getting from that wall outlet and how long it's going to take to fully charge. Not only that, but you not you not only see like a visual battery indicator, but you also get the number for the percentage on it too. And yeah, as PC Phil mentioned, not only is it already 25% off, but there is also a $150 cookable coupon on the page. So it's regular, it's more than 50%. It's regular 400s and you can get it for what, like 150? So you save a good chunk on it. Um, but yeah, I love all the analytics. Uh, one thing that I also love is the fact that you can turn it on by the sides. Like you can turn on the DC side or have it off, or you can turn on the AC side and have it off, which just, you know, kind of helps conserve energy. And you don't even need to worry about, because the machine is grounded, you don't have to worry about plugging in your three pronged um, uh, AC plugs because it has a little spot for them and the machine itself is already grounded. So you get a lot out of this little bad beast of a product. I mean, like like I said, I consider this one of those insurance products. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it because you never know what kind of emergency you have. If you live in a natural disaster zone like I do, like I'm in Southeast Texas, and you know hurricanes are you know we're familiar with those and so or just thunderstorms in general where you lose power or ice storms flash freezes whatever this nonsense is about to tackle me this week um and it's just nice to have these because you don't know, have the power goes out you can still power some small appliances keep your refrigerator going for a little bit because you know maybe you have special medicine like i do like insulin that has to um you know be 
kept refrigerated. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is. Honestly, with, with the, the coupons and the discount that it's currently on right now, it's definitely one of those pickups that you should, especially if you live in a natural disaster zone. Like, honestly, it's just a really good one. Also, I love it when PC Phil is here because he always he always gives me the, the, the clickable coupon um, update. He's he's the man, the myth, the legend himself, PC Phil. All right, the next product on the carousel is also a Fantic product, and I also consider it one of those insurance products still. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. You guys are going to hear me say that a lot, so I'm sorry, but it's true. Uh, this is just a, a really awesome uh, air... <coughs> excuse me a really awesome air inflator for your tires whether you want to use it on your car a basketball a bike a motorcycle whatever it's going to work for you and again the reason why i like it and i, and I like the other fantic products is because their displays are very informative with analytics that help you know when your um you know when your job is going to be done 11k followers here. Yeah, let me check so let's see right now we are at Yep, we are at 11,353, Mr. PC Phil. We're just rolling. We're rolling through these followers. So yeah, let's go ahead and check so this out. So this is my fan tip. I've checked the online to make sure um, what PSI is perfect for my tires, and th 35 is the answer. Um, and so basically, I'm just going to plug these up, make sure my tire is topped off, and go from there. Now, what's cool is that you can set it to whatever PSI you want to, whether it's going to be, you know, higher or lower than what you already have it at. And what's also cool is that it has different modes. So this one is for um, SUVs, this one is for motorcycles, this one is for bicycles, and then this one is for basketball. So it already has some preset modes. But if you don't know, it's never it never hurts to check uh, to see what it might be. And then when I'm ready to turn it on, I just hit this power button right here, and then it's good to go. Now, what's also cool is that it has a light and a light button, and this light's pretty bright, uh, so it's just very helpful. Um, you know, it has a strobe feature too. It's just very helpful for if you're you know inflating a tire at night. But basically, um, all I have to do is remove the cap on here. Go ahead. And Thank you so much, PC Phil, for the congratulations. Honestly, without viewers like you, it wouldn't be worth doing, you know? We love you guys. You guys are the best. So right now, the PSI in here is um, 29. And so I know it's kind of hard to see because of the glare, but it's 29 and I want to get to 35. So I go ahead and start. And then it will just keep going until it... So basically, once you get it to start, um, it shows you the PSI of the tire that, you know, of the current psi of the tire and then you set it to what your goal psi so in this one the base psi that it was at was 29 and i wanted it at 35 so i pressed the button the machine will run until it hits that 35 psi it may go a couple of seconds past when it hits the number but it, it will it will still go for a little bit and then it will cut off automatically so you don't have to worry about overinflating your tires, which is just a nice little thing because you can literally leave that thing and walk away and know that when you come back, you don't have to worry about your tires being the size of, I don't know, a giant. What's the size of a tire? I can't. I have no comparison. A giant. Uh, a giant capybara. Something like that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just a really overall great diffuser. Uh, now, the next product that we have on the carousel is one that I have live to show you. I still haven't made the video for this thing. I'm so behind. But I have a lot of videos coming soon, and Justin's going to hate me because I have, like, a ton of stuff that I'm going to be uploading. But, oh, and I still got to write an article, too. I forgot about that. Um, This is the Eufy P2 Pro. Now, if you are, oh, okay, well, you're going to be very happy come tomorrow, Justin, let me tell you, because I've got a couple of videos, well, a lot of videos to upload. I've been doing videos like crazy. I just, I've been, the mistake I keep making is that I keep recording a bunch of footage and I'm like, I'm going to go voice that over soon. And then I just never voice it over and the footage just sits there. But I've been, I've been, I've been doing, I, I actually got off early today, so I've been putting some time in, but, uh, <laughs> 
This is <laughs> same problem. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is the UPP2 Pro. Uh, for anyone who just likes to keep track of their weight or you're looking to begin your weight loss journey, this thing is actually fantastic for this because it does a lot of stuff that's really cool. Um, and to not only track analytics for dealing with your weight loss but also for just giving you some overall cool features so it does heart rate measurement 16 body measurements it does a u body 3d model it's accurate up to 50 grams or 0.1 pounds um and then it comes with a eufy life app that you can sync it with and it's also wi-fi and bluetooth enabled um and you know the one thing that i love about eufy products is that like for the most part like absolutely amazing um and they have really good app compatibility too so though i can't really show you much of the cool features because i don't have the app installed yet this thing I've, I've i've looked at some other reviews for it and i'm excited because this thing looks like a beast i mean it's super shiny like you can see all of my i can show you all of my monitors in the reflection like you see that you see all these monitors this thing is super reflective. And not only that, but I mean, it's got a really nice design to it also. Also, uh, Jama Volt, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Vlogger Tech and Entertainment Live Show. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get to use this thing. Um, yeah, yeah, very nice LED display. And it also comes with a, uh, a little measurement, a ruler. What's it called? It has a name for it. Tape measure, that's what it is. Um, so you can like measure the dimensions of your body and enter them to the, into the, um, the actual app. And that's how it helps. It helps to create the, uh, the 3d model of your body, which I think is one of like the cool, like I, a scale that can, that can make a 3d model of my body, like sign me up. So I'm super excited about this because I love Yuffie products. Like I have a big Yuffie fan just in general. And so I'm really excited to get into this and get to get to use it because I know it's going to be amazing. I, I know exactly where I'm going to put it to. It's going in my restroom. I don't care what my girlfriend says. She cannot have this. It's mine. And so, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the video on this. This is one of the ones that I recorded footage for. Um, not No, I didn't record footage for. I just recorded an unboxing. But it's coming soon. I will. I am going to be putting in a lot of work uh in this next coming week because i'm gonna be off all next week and i'm not gonna know what to do with that free time and i don't want to have to do a bunch of product videos to try to catch up so i'm excited but doing that that product doing that video that was great i was i was great let's see the we fit balance board used to do the same yo i used to love the we fit but i still have mine the thing is like i still have it and i still have my Wii. i just can't find any of my old old games like oh man we fit was the best i still have it but i can't i think i lost all of my Wii cds in harvey like it was great it was great it was great we fit and we sports were like the best just hands down they were really good and the Wii came out like right when i was in middle school too and so i i used to love it i used to absolutely love it yeah it would it was savage it was actually savage uh it was randy savage actually <laughs> oh what's up bart welcome to the stream happy to have you here welcome welcome i know i probably say this every other time you come to the stream but it's always so funny when i see you pop up because my dad's name is bart and i call him fart i'll never call you fart i was just i'm sorry i just i just sorry i it's just it's memory association let's see uh avatar 2 was so good i didn't just watch the movie i experienced it moved me oh okay that's kind of cool i love the first one i had high hopes for the second one oh your whole name is c i think my i don't think my dad's whole name is bartholomew i think his name is actually just bart like i've never asked him but I'm pretty sure his name is actually just Bart. <laughs> so here we have my Eric job, absolutely amazing dehumidifier. And I'm going to basically show you guys how it works and how fantastic it is. So first off, oh, wait, hold on. No, no, no. You want to know the funny part? 
All right. So, so Bart, two things, two things funny about my dad and like his side of the family. So first off, my grandpa on my dad's side named all of his kids with B names. So it's Bart, Brad, Brett, Brian, and Blake. They all got B names. But what's also funny is that all of their last names are bogus. So they're all BB. They're literally all BB. Like you could call any my dad or any of my uncles just BB. And it's I just think that's hilarious. I'm sorry. We'll go up to the top here where we can see the panel and everything. So obviously this one gives the power. So if I press that, it's going to turn off. I press it, it'll turn it back on. Uh, right now I have it set to basement, uh, which it has these preset modes. Continuous will just continuously dehumidify, which you can hear it just came back on. But sleeping area has a set to 55 humidity. Living area is 50. Basement is 45. So when you set it to these and the humidity gets set low, Oh, you know what, PC Phil? I'm in the same boat. IMAX, I've only ever seen IMAX movie in the theaters. My The one that I saw was in the, uh, what was it? Uh, in the planetarium. That's where I saw it. Level to turn off, but if you leave it on continuous, it'll just constantly dehumidify regardless of what's going on. Now, you also have a timer that you can set. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fan speed down just so it's not as loud. But you have a timer that you can set. And if you hit it, you can cycle between the lowest setting, which is half an hour or the high. Okay, so fun fact. Though I don't know how many hours or how many times I've watched the actual movie, but I can promise you that it's too many to count. I personally own 14 two-tape VHS box sets of Titanic. 14 box sets. I'm not joking. Anytime I go to, if you take me to a Goodwill and I see a two box set of Titanic, I buy it every time. That is like, yeah, that is, <laughs> I have a big stack at my mom's place of just two, two, uh, VHS tape box set. I will bar. I will take pictures. If you do not believe me, I have so many Titanic box sets. Like I just have so many. <laughs> highest setting which is 24 hours and so that's something that I. Uh, you know what i go to my i got you i go to my uh my mom's house this weekend for christmas i'll take pictures so you guys can see it is really cool because you have the options to scale the time as you see fit and as i showed you earlier you have uh the different fans but yeah every time i go thrift shopping i go to the movie section to see if i can find another box set and i just add it to my collection and my mom is like we don't even have a vhs player why are you still buying copies of this movie because it's great i love it i love leonardo dicaprio i can quote that movie like almost line for line speeds that you can set you have and then, you know what, it's not even my favorite movie. My favorite movie of all time is Major Pain because I love the Wayans Brothers. And then my number two favorite movie is White Chicks, which is also Wayans Brothers. Those are like my favorite movies. Filter button too. And what I like is that you have a Mirage button, which if you look at the front of it, you can see there's nothing there, but if I hit the Mirage button, boom, it shows you what the humidity level is currently at in the room. So this Air, Air G job, dehumidifier is actually super amazing i loved it um it's also like of all the dehumidifiers that i've gotten to use it is the highest capacity the other one that i had was 50 pints this one was 70 pints and it is incredibly humid in houston and that door behind me that you guys can see um at the bottom there it's not completely sealed all the way is that the macklemore song is that what you posted i haven't checked the link yet but um it's it, so it gets really humid in here and i actually have my dehumidifier running over there but i i try to uh keep the humidity in here kind of low because i don't want to get i don't like because over time it'll damage my books and so that's why i love my dehumidifier because it really does help keep the humidity now that thing is so powerful like that one and the other one that i did are so powerful that if i run them continuously i will get a nosebleed i have to make sure that it's set so average humidity in here is typically about 65 to 67 somewhere in between there so i keep it set at a nice 50 sometimes 45 just depending but i've noticed that if i go to like 35 or lower on the humidity nosebleed instantly there is no delay so 
It's a very powerful dehumidifier. Very nice. I love it. And it's energy star rated. So definitely check it out. Now, this next set of uh, two products that I'm going to show you is I, I fell in love with these. These have I used to have nothing but sync wire stuff in my car um, as far as uh, mounts go. And it's cool that. Like the sync wires charge, like that's why I like the sync wires. But even though these don't charge, they're still really awesome, super easy to set up, and I absolutely enjoy them. Hey everyone, Nick Kato, a Dragon Blogger here to show you the Andobil Easy Clip Car Mount. Now it comes in a really nice, safe packaging that's really easy to open up and get into. Now this thing is going to be perfect for those of you who like to drive and have your phone where you can see it and not be too distracted by it, especially if you're using it for GPS and navigation. But here is the main console. This is the part that actually holds the phone. And I love it because it has this nice little clip that you can use to extend it and then tighten it to your phone. And then anytime you need to take out your phone, you just hit that button. It has Featured item check? What do you mean? Is it is it on sale? Does it have a lightning thing? No, it's just, it's 12% off. Wait, what do you mean by featured item check? It has a nice little ball roller in the back that you're just going to. Oh, oh, that always happens with my PC fill. It's not like, it's like an Amazon thing, I think. Cause I, like whenever I, so whenever I switch my scenes, I always switch the item. It's just kind of laggy. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I've tried everything. Attach. This is what's going to attach to your vent. And then the phone mount, it's really easy to assemble too. I'm going to show you the process here, but all you basically have to do is take off that screw, put the ball into the joint and then put. Sometimes so what I, what I, what I, when I'm thinking about it, what I normally do is like when I'm closing out one product, I'll hit it so that by the time I switch, it it changes. Your voice was so clear and crisp on this video. Oh, I think it was just this set. This set of videos that I did was pretty. This was like right after I had the little voice thingy. Like when I tore my um my esophageal gland or my esophageal gland, my esophageal um tube, like. This was after that, so my voice had kind of, I was like, I was literally like this close to my mic when I was talking into these videos. Put the screw back on. As you can see, that clip on the back is what you're going to use to put on your actual car vent itself so that you can clamp it on, basically use it, and just go about your business. I, as you can see here, that ball fits in. I kind of messed it up at first. I forgot to put the actual screw attachment back on, but it's really easy to figure out. Even if you mess it up, you just simply screw that on. And now your phone is going to be secured to the clamp, which holds the phone up. Now, oh yeah, PC Phil, it was, it was bad. It was bad. Like I, like not to go into too much detail, but like throwing up so much that you cause your esophagus to bleed that was the word i you know i'm not gonna lie it's rare that i get scared for like my own life but i really i thought i when i was in the hospital i was like this is it this is over basically what i'm going to show you guys from here out is basically the functionality of it how it works how the clamp functions it's very easy to use you just simply have to tighten it to the proper adjustment and make sure that you know you don't damage or deform the vent in which you hook this onto now again like i said it's really easy it's super simple and it just looks amazing ando bill did a great job on this mount Yes, yes, hydrate or dehydrate. And when I put it in my car, you're going to see just how fantastic it is and just how easy it is to actually get set up and use. So let's go on to that. So as you can see, I have it set up here and it really is super simple to use. I just put my phone, clamp it into place and I don't have to worry about my phone going anywhere. And not only that, but like I said, it's super easy to clamp onto the vent, make sure that you tighten it so it's appropriately on there so you don't have to worry about it coming loose while you're driving. But if you're looking for an overall fantastic easy clip car mount to use, Andobil has got you covered. This one is absolutely amazing and very easy to set up and use. So yeah, like I said, for these Andobil products, like legitimately, I I love them. Like they replaced all of my car peripherals. Now this next one is the one that is on the passenger side. And at first, so like in this video, you'll see it on my dashboard, but I actually really didn't like it on the dashboard. Um, I ended up putting it on my, uh, the actual window. 
and it works a lot better in my opinion it's a it's a really good dashboard mount but it works also really well as a window mount too hey everyone nikita with Dra dragon blogger here to show you the ando bill easy clip car mount now this thing is absolutely fantastic it has multiple points of articulation and it is very easy to set up it keeps your phone secure and in place and locked into place at that while you're on the go maybe using your phone to dj music on a car trip or using it for gps now you'll notice in the back that it has this little attachment where you see a little screw part on there's going to be a ball joint that fits into that and you're going to make sure that you put that ball joint through the screw part and then put the ball joint into the hole where it is and screw it in now this is for the mounting of the actual car clip itself you want to make sure that you give it the proper time for the adhesive to bind to the surface as well as making sure that it is clipped for a while to set with the clamp that's on it but here you can see the multiple points of articulation that it has and then the actual clamp right here which is going to lock it into place on your dashboard or your window wherever you decide to put it for this demonstration i'm going to be putting it on wow you know what sometimes i can be kind of educational huh I, i'm actually like looking at this video like wow what an amazing car mount <laughs> my actual dashboard on the passenger side so you can just see how it functions but this was what i was mentioning earlier that ball joint that you screw in i do know stuff and things and this is what secures your mount to the actual stand now once you get this secured it's super easy as i mentioned before all you have to do is put your phone in tighten it get it to the exact point where you want it to whether you want it closer to you bent at a different angle or not and this thing is very easy to get set up how you want it to i mean you can basically place it anywhere and you're able to get it to your viewing needs essentially so let's go ahead and see it in action this is the one of the plates that it comes with now you can put this thing onto your glass or onto your dashboard if you want to but you don't necessarily need this pad and i ended up and all things star wars that is absolutely correct. not using the pad itself because the adhesive on here as well as the nice little lock that it has will basically stick it to any surface on its own there's no need to have the additional smooth surface but if you do need it it is there for you for demonstration purposes i have it here just to kind of show you everything together but i do not use it with the actual pad itself so if you're looking for a really awesome foam mount to have in your car this is definitely the one to check out it's easy and fun yeah, I mean, it really is. It's it's very easy to put together. It's very easy to install. Like, I, I basically showed you guys the entire installation pro. Is it? Is that my hair? That's just a lot of gray hair. Oh, my God. I'm going to hide that. Go away, gray hair. I'm not old yet. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, 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 it really is. It, you, th that's one thing that I liked about Ando Build because not only did it feel really solid, really well made, but it was super easy to set up. And even though I didn't end up keeping it on the actual dashboard and putting it on the windshield, it was still great. It was, it was still really great. And I actually like the multiple points of articulation that it has because regardless of where you put it in your vehicle, whether you do put it on the windshield or you do put it on the dashboard, you can extend it and bend it all kinds of ways to get it to be at the angle that you want it to be. Let's see, um, my son has a Advent Lego Star Wars calendar. I've been helping him put together all the mini ships and miscellaneous kits. We were waiting to unveil R2-D2. Oh my God, I have a Star Wars um, Advent calendar also. I try to get one every year because Aldi, I don't know if you guys have Aldi where you are, but they always have some kind of like themed Advent calendars and they're great. And so, like, I, I love getting their Star Wars ones. I have uh, a Harry Potter one also. And they're just amazing. I love them. I absolutely love them. Yes! Yes! Someone else who knows. Yo, 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 can I show you something cool from Aldi? One second. So, speaking of Aldi, right? Okay, let me tell you something. I got all of these from aldi like all these star wars characters from aldi at target these are regular 22.99 a piece at aldi 6.99 bro 
That's all I had to pay for these. So, oh, yours were, eight. okay, mine were a little bit cheaper, but I was like, because they're so expensive at Target. And I was like, oh my God, they're so cheap. I, you should have, you should have saw the, uh, the look on my face when I walked up to the cash register with all of these Star Wars figures in my hands. I was like, these are the best. Yeah, I love, okay, so there's a, okay, so PC Phil, you and I need to talk all defines now. Um, so one, one thing that I love is like right around, um, right around like, I think it's like, valentine's day they do one of their seasonal pizzas i don't know if you ever had their 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 pizzas that they have there but they do a seasonal pizza and they do a macaroni and cheese pizza now growing up i used to always love the macaroni and cheese pizzas that they had at cc's and the macaroni and cheese pizza at aldi makes that one look like crap like the Aldi one is so good. It's so cheesy. Like it's it's literally like one of those ones where you lift up the slice of pizza and like the cheese is pulling and stretching. Like it's that's how much cheese is on that thing. I have I I can't wait till that time of year swings around. Yes. I if you see it, please grab it. Please grab it. Please grab it. And Ed, thank you so much. I'm glad my you know it's funny, my heater went out yesterday and I was like, oh no. I thought it was going to like stay out because, you know, it's supposed to get really cold later this week, but we're good now. But it's still cold to me. It's still too cold. I, I like I like my hoodie blanket. I'm staying warm. We're scared for this flash freeze. But yeah, because y'all know us us down here in the south, whenever it gets a little cold, we freak out all of us at, at once at the same time. That's why it's so bad because we're all freaking out. But uh, this next product is one. I love these things. This they're actually not in here. This I just they I keep these at work. Um I keep my AirPods somewhere. They might be in the kitchen or something. But I keep these at work because these are fantastic. Like these are really cool. And I enjoy these and they are a really good com for like the price. They are a really good competitor for the Apple ones. That's what I love about it. Let's see. We have the heat set at 62, so I'm bundled up like Nikita tonight as well. Oil heat is too expensive. I never started a fire in the fireplace tonight either. I have been using space heaters for the most part. Like, Justin had a really nice one sent to me um, probably about a month and a half, two months ago. Yeah, some sometime around then. And um, I use that. And this thing keeps me warm. Like I have to, I have to keep rolling the sleeves up every now and then. Cause I hate it. You know, it's funny. Like I like my chest area and my legs warm, but I cannot stand it when like my forearm, like when my forearm gets hot, I get uncomfortable. I don't know what it is about that specifically, but like, I, I, I love being warm in the chest and warm in the legs. But if I'm in warm in the arms, it don't do it for me. Hey everyone, Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you guys the really Oh god, this was before I shaved. Ugh, I'm looking rough in this one. Oh, and this is when I still have the go track stuff behind me. Cool. Donner active noise canceling earbuds. I already have them in my ears. These things are amazing. I have been using them, figuring them out. They're really easy to figure out. I already have them in. They are great. I absolutely love the design of these. Hold on, if I can get them to focus. There we go. Got a little earwax on there, sorry. But um, I um, I love these things. And as you can see, you know, there's some Star Wars stuff behind me. And, and, and one way that I compare these earphones to AirPods, because I use AirPods a lot, is that AirPods kind of feel like Stormtrooper armor. And these feel different from that. I don't really know how to describe it. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say rebel technology, but it does feel really nice. Um, it has a very... I am such a nerd cringer sometimes. So you're going to have to forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice metallic feel to the actual earbuds themselves. Um, and they have a lot. They have a lot of cool gesture control too. Here is the charging case for them too. And it's really easy to get it set up. I mean, the instructions explain it pretty clearly uh, how to, how to use these. Uh, it's, it's really not hard at all. All you have to do is, you know, close it. 
see one thing that I like about going to my mom's place to visit is that like my mom doesn't have central air. We have the old school like fire not fireplace like the old school like stove ovens the ones with the ceramic heating blocks in them that you have that are lit by gas like the old school heater ovens like we have those all in the house and i love standing in front of those and having the like the the heat like hit me and warm me up and then go run right under the covers like i love that it and then open it up and there's a reset button in the middle here too that you can press down and the instructions are super clear but i've gotten so used to using these for my ears now now you have to get used to the single double and even triple press technology on the actual earbuds themselves when you do a single tap on either side if it's going to be on your left side that is going to be for volume down as a single tap and on your right side that's going to be volume up then you have the double press function and also what's cool is that in their in their manual in like the first couple of pages they i mean they 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 explain everything that it does when you double press that's that's how you um that's how you go to answer your phone or you use it to decline a call. It just depends on which side you're tapping on. The instructions are super clear. It's it's really great. And so there's just a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, there's also my favorite is the mode change. It's just a triple tap on the right side. All you have to do is go one, two, three, and it cycles between the different modes for both. So right now I'm in transparency mode and like I can kind of hear stuff around me. Um, and then you triple tap again from there to go to, um, to just normal mode, which is just like, as if something was in your ears. And then, so yeah, it's like these Fs, cause you know, typically when it comes to like controls for Hold on. That same bug is back. I see it. Eh! I got it. Ha! The last time I got it with the compressed air, this time I actually smashed it. Okay, but anyway, sorry about that. But yeah, these were, I had some really unique gestures because I'm used to like double tap, skip song, triple tap, go back a song, tap once, play, tap once, pause. And this one kind of changed the game with that because there it's, I mean, like the controls are just completely different from anything that I've ever used. So it made them unique, but I really liked the feel of them. Like I said, if I really had to compare it to the AirPods, like the AirPods are like Stormtrooper armor, and these are kind of like droids, you know, because they have a really nice metallic feel, and the AirPods are kind of like, not hollow, but you know, like that kind of plastic looking, you, you know what I mean? Like the material, like it's like comparing stormtroopers to droids. That's, that's, that's the diff that's the comparison of, of AirPods to dough buds is the same as stormtroopers to droids. That's how I like to think about it because it makes sense in my head. But yeah, that's, that's basically that. Um, now, um, what's cool about the next product is, is that they have a, bunch of these these mugs and they all like different types of sports and stuff so like if you're a fan of sports you can definitely find a mug for you the one that we're currently showing is going to be the softball mug which i'm going to pull hey everyone to nikita would you that was loud uh which i'm going to pull up and show you guys and these things are kind of amazing Honestly, they look really cool and you can actually just play with your food or drink whatever you want to do Dragon blogger here. Hey everyone Nikita with dragon blogger here to show you something really cool This is the mug with a glove softball edition. I got to do the baseball edition and this one is just a Fantastic version of it. You can play with your food actually if you're using this for hot chocolate You can play with marshmallows if you're using it for coffee You can play with sugar cubes whatever you may want to do whether you're eating cereal or soup This thing is going to be fantastic. It comes packaged really nicely and I love the color scheme very different from the baseball one It is a nice softball yellow with a nice black mitten for it you know it is great whether you want to put hot chocolate coffee cereal soup ice cream this 
ceramic mug is going to be perfect for coaches, dads, moms, kids, and all sports lovers. So if you are looking for a really awesome way to pay homage to softball in mug form, definitely check this out. It's absolutely fantastic. I was way too excited about those mugs, honestly. Those are some cool mugs. Well, honestly, my favorite part about those mugs, like, no, no joke, is just how big they are. Like, I love big mugs. Like, let me have three cups of coffee in one sitting. Yes, please. <laughs> like, they're massive. Like, they are actually just... Like, I don't know if my, I don't know if you, like, I guess I don't necessarily have, like, big hands, but they're 16 ounces. Like, they're, they're, they're pretty big. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good, that's two servings of coffee. That's two cups of coffee in one, and I can put it and have fun, and it's great. So, yeah, that is, and like I said, Maxis, like, make so many different, like, I got a, you know what? I have a list of the ones that I got, actually. So, I got a, sorry for me, I got a hockey one a what is this one a baseball one a basketball one a soccer one and then you guys saw the softball one just now so like i got five of them and they're great they're just absolutely fantastic now this next product is another one that i like keep at work because it comes in hand just being an it stuff like this comes in handy this first one is a they're both by hoto this first one is an electric screwdriver set which is just one of the coolest comprehensive screwdriver sets that i've ever gotten and i love the design of it and then the other one is a precision screwdriver set which i also basically i use one for when i'm installing monitors for the people at work and then the other one when i'm like changing out ram dims hey guys nikita with dragon bloggers here to show you this really amazing hoto all-in-one designed electric screwdriver this thing is fantastic i love how it has the nice little telescoping grabber at the top it makes it easier for transport it comes with a usb-c cable with uh which is what you use to charge it um what's also really cool is that the case itself can lock so right now it's locked so no matter how hard i try to pull this it won't come off i simply just turn it to the unlock phase and then it slides right off now it comes with the Okay, PC Phil, that time I didn't switch the product over, so you can be mad at me for that one. The actual electric screwdriver itself, it has a little cap up here that blocks the top where you can put the head in, you just simply, it grips pretty well, but you simply just... Yeah, that time, that time I was slipping, I'll admit to it, that time I was slipping. Pull it off. Um, and then of course right here as you can see at the top it's on the off and then it has different torque settings that you can use it on and when you use it you know you can go uh, counterclockwise or clockwise just depending on whether you want to screw something in or take something out and it also comes with this really nice ring light so that you can see whatever you're screwing here at the bottom is where you charge it but um, what's also cool is the little stand where it comes is where all the different types of heads are that you can use for different purposes and whichever one you want you just simply <laughs> pull it out go ahead and pop it into place so this one also is currently 23 percent off and there's an additional 10 percent coupon on the page for it i i i recommend this for anyone who likes screwdriver sets especially like this one um which is it's it's like a, i wouldn't call it a precision screwdriver set because like they're not super small, but I mean, it's if you're looking for a really nice portable electric screwdriver, this is one pickup for sure. And then you're good to go. There's a magnetic connection that forms, and so you're good to just start screwing and then you know set it to whatever torque setting you want, or simply just turn it off to save on battery. And I just think it's absolutely fantastic as an all in one. This is one of the most uniquely designed screwdrivers that I've ever gotten to use, and it just it is fantastic for all of your screw driving needs. So if you're looking for a really comprehensive all in one set to use, definitely check out this Hoto electric screwdriver. It's an all in one set that's super easy to carry, transport, and use for all of your screwing needs. For all of your screwing needs, aptly put, right? <laughs> uh, but following that one, the precision screwdriver set is just as amazing and just as handy. I actually use, believe it or not, I use this one more than I use the other one. But I love the way that this one is designed. Like one of the most uniquely designed screwdrivers that I've ever come across. Hey guys, Nick Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show.
Also, Shell, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live show. We are so happy to have you. Uh, please give me some free gas. Shell, thank you. Even though I work from Exxon Mobil, I, I will take free gas, okay, from anyone. Gas is expensive, even though the prices are going down. Show you something really cool. This is the Hoto 24 in 1 Precision Screwdriver, and I absolutely love this thing. Now, first off, what you'll notice is that it's really sleek. It's got a really nice, I think this is a dodecahedron. I'm not quite sure how many um, sides that it has, but it has a very nice, I love the fact that it does have a regular shaped size. Um, and so it makes it really good for the grip. And what's also- Also, I said dodecahedron which is not correct. I meant dodecagon. So, oh, you're paid 307. I think we're at, like down the street from my house is 249 right now, but I it's a shell, unironically, and I have the rewards where I say five cents a gallon. So it's 244 basically. So cool is that all of the bits for it are stored here at the top and it's by, it's magnetic. So you just simply put- What's nice? Is that so? I live in in Port Arthur, Texas, um, and I moved from Houston. In Houston, gas is like twenty cents higher than it is here, and that's because I live near refineries. Woo! I use a gas card and get three percent back on all gas purchases. Oh, that's nice. I for the first time ever, I applied for a credit card, and it's coming this week. And it's like, it's one of the Walmart ones. And so I'm going to be getting um, like 5% cash back every time I get groceries at Walmart. And I'm actually really kind of excited about that because I've never had a, yep, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm kind of excited. I, cause you know, now I finally have like a really good paying job. Like I also apply for my first car loan. Like I'm going to be getting my first, like I've had a car, but I'm getting my first like new car. Like I'm going to actually get a new car. Um, and I'm going to get the, I think I'm going to get a t either a 2022 or a 2023 Toyota Corolla cross. And I'm really excited about that. I know. Right. I know I get, I, I'm doing adult things. Put that in and then you're good to go because it's magnetically connected. Now what's also cool about that is because it is magnetically connected, but it's on a swivel. When you're screwing stuff in, you can hold the top and you're able to just spin the base and get it in, um, you know, however you see fit. And I think that's what's really cool. Okay, I promise you I'm not trying to make like sexual innuendos in this video, but I keep hearing them. And it's just, I promise it's not on purpose. Now, as you can see here, are all 24 pieces at the top. You simply just pick the one that you need at the moment. And they also clamp on uh, via magnetic connection. And um, as well as when you put the head in, it's also a magnetic connection. So as you can see, this thing is really uh, cool. It is a very nice precision screwdriver set. I, I can never watch this video the same way again. To have, I absolutely love this thing because everything is in one. Uh, typically, precision screwdriver sets have the actual screwdriver base, and you have like a case that comes with it, and you got to carry it around. But this, you just have everything all in the screwdriver itself. So if you're looking for a really fantastic uh, precision screwdriver set to have, this is definitely going to be one you want to check out. And like I said, I I basically use that every day at work, honestly. Um, because it's pretty often that I have to do like change out RAM slots, RAM dims and, um, screwing in monitors and stuff. Okay. Maybe not every day, but at least like two or three times a week for sure. And it just, it's really nice. Kind of, everything is in the, in the screwdriver itself. Um, yep. $20 clickable coupon and it's already 33% off. So, um, you basically get it for half of its original price, which is just amazing amazing darling um uh this next product however this is our one and only non-nikata product for the night and it's a james here product you guys uh you guys get your daily dose of james and yeah replacing two okay funny story my my job actually does not let us replace the nvmes in the company devices we're Oh, like literally I'm only allowed to change RAM. Like I'm only allowed to change RAM. I'm not allowed to change a hard drive or SSD or an NVMe. Like I can't, they won't let me. And I don't know why, but that's the rules. James here, and today we're taking a look at the nice day under the desk elliptical. Now this elliptical is a magnetic uh, resistance. 
it's weird. It's because Exxon Mobil is is weird about how they allow IT support and Exxon Mobil IT kind of interact with each. It's it's super weird. It's super weird. Let's see, you need a background check before. <laughs> yeah, basically, which I don't understand. So th that's the thing that I don't understand also, because like when we replace the, 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 the dims, like the hard drive is literally right next to the dim slots. So why wouldn't be able to, I don't know. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Thin style, as you guys can see, I do have it laying here on the floor and it is an, almost in like an army green coloration with orange settings. Now some cool parts is, is you do have this little stand here in orange. This little piece is actually meant to put a phone in. Uh, you also do have a handle here to pull it around. You have these very large uh, feet. These feet can actually pull up and they do have these very large wheel casters. Now I'm gonna leave that laying here so you guys can see the logo of course the logo is upside down so if i do this we'll actually adjust the logo back up and show you guys yeah i guess it has to do something with that but the thing is like if we oh, okay okay yeah i guess that does make sense but the thing is it's the the people who do change that stuff are literally like the next building over like the way that the the buildings are set up like and th they're no different for me like that's what i don't understand like but the thing is they can't change ram like they can do the hard drives and ssds and stuff but they can't do ram like that's what i think is so funny like it's it's weird if we can the logo right here uh very simple very easy now if I move over here to this adjustment right here to this setting, you'll see that we actually have a digital display. This digital display has a reset and a mode setting. Now the mode setting is going to pop on and start going. This comes out. You can remove this and move this. This takes two AA batteries and this takes two AA batteries too. Now, with that being said, you can switch through the modes. You can see your speed. Your miles. And of course, I've already done 7 miles, 7.7 .7 miles on this. Uh, you can see the calories burnt, and you can see this right here. Or you can go right here where it goes through all of them and it just pounces back and forth. Here's your seven lever adjustment. This seven lever adjustment can actually go from the easiest down to the hardest resistance on there. Now, if... I mean, you're absolutely not wrong because it takes one team to do RAM, one team to do storage one team to do software and driver support i'm trying to think if there's, if there's another team involved is i don't think there is actually if i move this back we can go up to here we're going to go to speed now of course guys when you put your feet on this just like this you're going to start adjusting this and moving this now Course, oh yeah to... there's one team that has to do the imaging yeah okay so that's four who's the fifth one is there a fifth one D can we count acquisitions as a team to reclaim the laptop or the device once the person quits no i think the people who do i think the people who do okay i do i technically do keyboard and mouse the screen replacement team is also the same team that does the hard drives. To lock my chair in place to kind of show you guys. How I guess the fifth team would be like acquisitions. The people who give the machines and take the machines back, right? How this works, just like that. Now, we're going to start getting the... But they're not technically IT, though. They're just like mailmen. <laughs> it's to go, of course, right? So we do have it. Now we're going to start moving just like this. You guys will see the speed start moving up. Now we're about 28 miles per hour. And so, just like that, very simple, very easy. Now, you guys can see that it's simple. It moves just easy. It glides. It's just great. Now, if I move this handle down to hard resistance, there we are, of course. Wait, what is PBKAC? Of course, there's the harder resistance level, just like that. Problem exists between keyboard and chair. I don't get it. 
between keyboard and chair. And still works very, very well. <laughs> oh man, I I am going to be using that at work from now on. I've never heard that. That one is so good. That one is so yes. PC Phil, you're the best. Yeah. The cool part is, guys, this does have two apps that you can actually download and install. The apps will control and keep track of your actual. Balance. Oh man, that's so good. That's so good. Calories burnt your miles gone, your speed, and all of that. The other app will actually give you maps of like roads that you are running and jogging on. Guys, if you're in the mood or looking for the nice uh, under the desk elliptical, maybe the nice day one is the one for you. I want to thank you for checking this video out, and I hope you guys have a great one. Under desk ellipticals are really great, honestly. They really do help with like keeping your knees and your joints and your muscles and your legs just like really um firm and provide relief like uh, the elliptical motion is just really good for your knees it's it's less strenuous than the completely circular motion of like a bicycle and so it just really does help with reducing impact on your knees so you could have your knees for longer basically uh and so that's that's one thing that i love about elliptical machines like i have one at my, my the the office that i'm at um during the beginning and the end of the week i have a standing desk and one thing that i love about it is that it, it it's just a really good pairing with a standing desk because not only can you eliminate being sedentary by sitting there and using your elliptical while you are you know sitting during the day but you can also uh transition to standing up and to relieve some you know pressure in your spine and stuff so that you can relax um you know while you work technically and it's hey, just everyone, a, a really nice uh a really nice combo like i love the the sitting desk or Standing desk, sitting elliptical combo because, I mean, no one wants to be stuck hunched over a chair all day. It's just really nice to be able to have those things. And I love, I love working at a place where standing desks are the standard. Like, that's something that's really cool. Anyways, moving on to this next product, we have the Akayan Dumbbell Rack, which is super easy to build, super easy to assemble. I have the B-roll footage for this one. It's a really nice dumbbell rack. I don't actually have, like, dumbbells to put it on. Justin. Um, <laughs> but I did have some workout equipment that fit on it really well. And believe it or not, having this actually allowed me to save a lot of space because the stuff that I put on it was taking up like two shelves in my garage and I was able to free up those that space. Hey everyone, Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the Akayan Dumbbell Rack Stand. This thing is absolutely amazing for holding all of your home gym equipment. It helps you save space definitely. Currently, I don't have the most dumbbells, but I do have other other weight equipment it's kind of old and rusted but this thing does a perfect job at holding all of it i had put all of this stuff on a shelf inside of my garage and now i'm able to organize it all in one place and it actually does really help i can't wait to get a set of dumbbells to use this thing on i just wanted to demonstrate and show you just how much space you can save with this thing so if you're looking for a really easy to build really functional weight rack for dumbbells this is definitely one to check out i mean it is the best one i've ever gotten to use it is also the only one I've ever gotten to use, but that is that doesn't stop it from being the best. I just want to point that out. But no, it was really easy to put together. It's really sturdy. Like you can tell that it's really sturdy. It's really nice. One small little amenity that I love that it has is where you put like the act, you know, into the little alcove where the weights and stuff sit. It came with a bunch of these little like plastic inserts that are like C-shaped that you can just slide in and it stays in. And that was something that I really appreciated because it really does like cause my stuff's rusted is I don't know what. And putting that rust on metal is just gonna make it worse. So having those little plastic coverings is absolutely fantastic now on the same topic of at home gym equipment this next um product is absolutely amazing it's it's the life pro folding exercise bike and i like this thing a lot because it's more than just an exercise bike because it has these really cool uh like pulley 
systems that come with it uh so cute when the vlc app puts the santa hat on the orange yeah i like vlc vlc is like my favorite media player i've been using it since i don't know how long i don't use anything else these days but uh the life pro folding exercise bike is just absolutely great there is a hundred dollar clickable coupon for the bike making it putting it an absolute steal honestly getting this bike for only a hundred dollars is just fantastic because it's it's yeah it's a bike but it also helps you work out your chest because it's got those pulleys and you can do kickbacks with it too which you're all gonna see in the video so let me let the video do the talking instead of running my big old mouth hey everybody nikita with dragon bloggers here to show you something really cool this is the life pro folding exercise bike it's absolutely amazing for having your own home gym essentially it's an amazing stationary bike that i highly recommend to you now what's really cool about it is that it's not just a bike it has a lot of cool features that you can definitely benefit from so let's check them out first off it has this really cool display and all you have to do is use this little knob here to change the resistance to whatever you want to for the demonstration I'm going to have it as high as it can go but when I want to change the control I can simply just turn the knob back to the left and loosen it up and make it a little bit easier What's really cool is it features that these really cool hand pulleys that were really easy to set up. In fact, the entire thing was very easy to build. So I'm glad that it's a multi-workout machine all in a stationary bike. Now, this is how you do kickbacks. I had my girlfriend demonstrate because I actually didn't know about this exercise, but she shows how to do that. And it's really cool that you can do this from the bike. Now, once I get on it, it's super easy to use. I love the adjustable foot holds that I can actually use my Crocs in and if a piece of workout equipment is not croc accessible it's not nakeda approved just remember that uh, here i'm demonstrating the hand pulleys that <laughs> <coughs> actually it's really funny because in every single piece of workout equipment that i do whether it's um a rowing machine a bike like this, an elliptical, you will always hear me and see me in Crocs and be like, yeah, this thing fits my Crocs, so I love it. That are just super easy to use while you bike. Now, as I was mentioning, this thing will fit my Crocs and you can adjust it to whatever you know you need to. But what's also cool is that I was mentioning earlier that this is what you use to change the resistance. And so it makes it a little easier, but I just absolutely love that I can wear my, my Crocs and it fits really easily. Now the display shows you a bunch of things and when the light comes off, you just simply press this button and turn it on. Now what's really cool is it shows you different analytics such as the calories you burn, the distance you've gone, the time you've been working out, your BPM, the speed that you're going, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you're looking for a really awesome multi-workout machine to have in your own home or your own home gym, definitely check out the Life Pro Folding Exercise Bike. It's absolutely fantastic and amazing and perfect for everyone. So it really is. I mean, like you cannot go wrong, especially right now while you can get this product for a hundred dollars, like get this product because one, it's easy to assemble Two, you get more than just a workout from this thing, more than just a, like a bike workout. You can do your chest and stuff and you can do your legs three. It folds up and takes up like no space for the most part. And four, a very nice interactive display that gives you all sorts of analytics, your heart rate, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely amazing. It's just, it's, it's the fact that you can, like I said, like PC, PC Phil showed, um, hundred dollar clickable coupon on the page for it. So, you know, you have definitely, you have no excuse to pick it up if you're looking for, like, if you are looking for a exercise bike, this is your sign to pick this one up because it's really good like i've used a lot of stationary bikes in my life this one is really good i promise you all right so next up on our list uh this is probably one of the best tumblers i've ever used i don't actually demonstrate with liquid in here but i have so i got this on the same week of fourth of july and we took it out with uh my girlfriend and her family and we had a drink in there and two days later the drink still had ice 
So that's that's the kind of effectiveness you get from this this really awesome double wall vacuum insulated tumbler. Um, it, it definitely keeps your drinks cold for a while. Let's see, you can't find a bike like that at a garage sale for a better price. Yeah, I mean, technically you are not wrong. So this has quickly become one of my absolute favorite tumbler sets. This thing is absolutely amazing at keeping your colds cold and your hots hot. I've had to use it this weekend um, to travel with some family uh, for a 4th of July celebration. I got to use it all day out on the beach with some ice in it and the ice stayed in it and I absolutely love it. It's just amazing and it does its job. It's got a really nice texture and a really cool color that I love. A very simple aesthetic, not a lot to it. Um, and what makes it even better is the accessories that it comes with. So it comes with two metal straws that I really like. One that's kind of bent um, and one that's completely straight. It also has these little caps, one clear and one black that you can put on there. If you didn't want to just straight up uh, touch the in the metal ends, maybe, um, you know, it could be outside in the sun and that part will get hot because it's not insulated by the cup, but you just want to have the little rubber grip for it, which I actually love. And if you were drinking anything besides water, or even if you were just drinking water and you needed to clean it, it comes with this really awesome brush that has these really nice bristles for just getting inside of the actual tube and making sure that you get a perfect clean all the way throughout the tube, which I just think is amazing. This tumbler set comes with absolutely everything you need to enjoy a nice cold or warm drink, um, just depending on your preference. Uh, whatever time of year, you know, this is an all around, all times of the year, great product. But yeah, it really is a really cool tumbler. Really love it really nice color really cool texture and i love the fact that it comes with those i use honestly i use the tumbler a lot but i use that brush more because that's just a really good cleaning brush for straws also you guys want to see something cool look at this hold on look behind me eh wait hold on i like this effect but it's kind of slow can i speed it up or maybe I can. That's a little bit faster. And then wait, wait, hold on. This one's for Christmas. Oh, wait, wait. But my favorite one. Hold on. I guess there's a lot of ambient sound in here, but it goes to my voice. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> I love this thing so much, man. This is like the coolest lamp I've ever had. Let's see. Need to point at it. Point it at the wall to bounce the color off the wall instead. Hmm. Well, it's only washed out because of the, it's the camera lens. Like, I'm pretty sure. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Oh God, you can see like my dirty laundry. Hold on. Well, not my dirty laundry, but it looks better from this angle. Cause like, it's not, it's just the, yeah. But I, I see, I like this one. Um, Cause this camera is just a little bit better about it. But this thing is really cool. But yeah, I didn't even think about putting it towards the the wall. Yeah, I you know what? I might take you I might I might I might listen to to you on that one. But I honestly haven't to, honestly I just put it in here because it was uh I was making a video for it and I was just really excited about it. And I really just wanted to show it off. But yeah, it, it, it looks it looks a lot better on that one. You know, honestly, I don't mind how it looks behind me because it kind of looks like a lightsaber to me. Like, wait, hold on. If I just do this. Like, it's just a lightsaber. That's all it, that's all it is. It's just a lightsaber behind me. <laughs> but it's really awesome. I, I do love it. I do love it. I uh, video on it coming soon. I've got the I've got the footage for it already recorded and everything. All right, it's starting to get hot in this thing. So this next product that I'm going to show you guys is a really nice uh, knife. It is currently 25% off. It's part of the Master Maison Supreme series. Actually, this one isn't in the Supreme series, but 
Um, they do. I do have stuff from the Supreme series, but Master Maison is a really awesome brand. If you're looking for like top quality knives, um, especially if you're a kitchen junkie like I am, you cannot go wrong. The design on these things are absolutely beautiful. But I'm gonna play this video and go run. Excuse me, run to the restroom real quick, and also take off this hoodie because it's finally getting too hot. But I will be back shortly, my friends. So, so here I have my Master Maison Supreme series. Damascus steel chef's knife. Now, unlike the other chef's knife that I covered, this one has a nice wood aesthetic for the case and the handle of the actual knife itself. I'm going to show you some of the cool features that are unique to the Supreme series that make it really pop and absolutely amazing. So first off, you get this nice, little embroidered cloth that is really um, easy to use for cleaning off your knife um, after you use it to chop something before you you know you wash it or whatever it also they also come with this awesome whetstone it's super easy to use the instructions are included but all you have to really do is soak it in some cold water for about 30 minutes and then it's good to go it's primed and ready to be used it also comes with this nice little sheath for storing the knife in its case and it's just really awesome to have that and what's also cool um, is that each knife comes packaged in plastic and it also has these nice little guards on it to protect you from cutting yourself because these knives are super sharp um, and so you've got to make sure that you're careful um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and take the little guards off and then just look at the design on the actual knife itself now one thing about these knives they're super high quality they're made out of um, very high quality Damascus steel but they also just look absolutely stunning and beautiful look at the way it glistens in the light and so um, to show off my chef's knife I'm going to use it to cut up some chicken breast so that you can see just how sharp it is how easy it is to chop up this chicken breast um, and it's going to this thing cuts anything like butter that's all I'm going to say. Be an absolute breeze. It takes almost no pressure at all. The cut itself is super sharp, super just, it, it really finishes it off. And as you can see, it just, it makes cutting chicken a breeze. Nice, smooth ended cut. So fun fact for all of the masters. So like I got like, I think I want to say it was like seven, seven or eight master Maison knives at the same time. What's up? Awesome mom. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they have really clear instructions on how to use it. You just soak it in cold water for like 30 minutes or something and then use it. But what I loved about it, uh, about doing those products specifically was that I got like seven or eight of them at once. So we went to Sam's to buy the rotisserie chicken and cut up all that chicken with those knives. Man, poor chicken, they didn't deserve that. But let me tell you something, Sam's rotisserie chickens, chef's kiss is is it's just it's amazing it's it's so good i love i love sam's rotisserie chicken now next up on the carousel this product is part of my just daily routine constantly um it is the aquacrest inline filter for your refrigerator now let me tell you something so i have a samsung fridge which already has a built-in filtration system. That's pretty good. Like I would, it like, I mean, it's it, like the water was fine. Um, I, I like filtered water. What's cool about this inline filter is that it's got a very like super precise filter on it and it filters the water. Then that water comes through to my refrigerator filter and then gets filtered a second time. So it's like, it's like super filtered and there's two things about that that I love. One, it extends the life of the filter in my refrigerator so I don't have to replace it as often because it's not having to do as much work since a built-in inline filter, well, not built-in, but since a, an installed inline filter, which is good for five years, is already working so that it doesn't have to work as hard. Two, the other reason why I like it is that, I mean, the water quality is fantastic. Like I'm, I'm getting like water bottle quality water from my refrigerator. And that is something that like not a lot of people can say. And as much water as I drink, 
Um, speaking of which, hydrate or dihydrate, everyone. I even got the hydrate or dihydrate shirt. Let's go! Hydrate or dihydrate inception. Oh yeah, because I'm also wearing it in the in the thingy. It's triple. It's 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 one, two, and then the hydrate or dihydrate dragon below. Yes, it was meant to be. But yeah, as much as I drink water, like this thing is a godsend because I get water bottle quality water from my refrigerator. It tastes amazing. It's refreshing. It's fantastic. And it's not hard to install. Like I would not consider myself a plumber or any plumbing expertise by any standard, but this thing was easy to install. So here is everything for my Aquacrest AQ INL five year inline water filter. I'm going to install this to my Samsung refrigerator so that I can just get that added bonus to the filtered water that comes through my system. So I'm gonna install this and show you guys what it's like when it's set up and then enjoy the purified water. So after about, I wanna say honestly, 10 to 15 minutes of work, I've basically got it set up. First you have to turn off your um, refrigerator line um, to make sure that no water is running when you unplug it from the actual refrigerator and then uh, once you get the little setting um, that little uh, screw set up there and plugged into the filter you want to let the filter run for about five minutes which is honestly the part that takes the longest is just uh, making sure that you um, flush out the filter and then you set up this little piece right here um, and plug it into the actual line in your fridge and then um, then you take that white uh, cord and you put it into the other end of the filter, which is marked out, and they're marked in and out. So you wanna make sure that your refrigerator line goes, um, is connected to the out, and you wanna make sure that the water line is in to in. Let it flush for five minutes, plug it up, get the clip set up so that you can mount it to your fridge, and then you're basically good to go. Um, I have been enjoying it. It's I already ran like a small glass of water to taste it. I can already taste the difference. And so I'm excited to use this. It's good for five years. So if you're in the market for a really nice filter that's compatible with most fridges, definitely check this one out and get it set up. Honestly, super easy to set up and the results are fantastic. Now, the one thing that I will say is make sure that if you don't use the clips that come with it to install it that you have some way to install it like i had to figure out a way to get mine uh pinned up there because i didn't have like screw holes on my fridge and the spot for it but i got it up and i was still able to use the clip for it so just kind of keep that in mind like that part can be a little tricky but everything else is pretty easy and now i have water bottle quality water out of my refrigerator now the next product is a, is another product that's also dealing with the kitchen. This is the um the clear space uh, storage containers, and they come in four different sizes. That's great for like cereal, pasta. We use it for oatmeal. We use it for sugar. I use one of the small ones for hot chocolate. Like you can use them for all sorts of things. So this is my fourteen piece uh, storage container set, and I absolutely love it. Here you can see. Um, some of the ones that I've used and the ones that I have left over now There's four different sizes as you can see these two right here are the tallest size and just for reference This is an entire Freshly opened bag of frosted mini wheats. So it will hold an entire bag of cereal um, and then I've got I had to split the oatmeal into two because um, The entire container was a little bit too much and Thank you, thank you, PC Phil. Ten dollar so clickable coupon on the page for these storage containers. This one just not be using, you know, just a low amount. And then of course I put rice in this one. This is only three sizes. There's a size in between these two, and it's this one right here um, that you can see. It's just kind of slightly taller than this one is, but it's a nice 14 pack set and I absolutely enjoy it um, very uniform one thing that I really like is that even though they're all different sizes all of the tops are universal meaning that you can put this top on any of the sizes and you're good to go what's also really cool about it is that it comes with this 
really nice little measuring <laughs> spoon set that fits really nicely into each other and is very colorful. And then it also comes with labels and a nice white marker for them so that you can make sure you can clearly label and go through. I haven't opened them yet because I haven't um, used all of them just yet, but I'm so excited to use them and set them up in my new home. So if you're looking for something to keep your different types of food, whether they're dry, wet, in the refrigerator, out of the refrigerator, and you want a nice you know, safe, secure way to store them. Definitely check out this 14 piece set. All right, straightforward. And not only that, but ClearSpace also makes a water bottle organizer, which we're going to jump right into next. I still, I keep this in my fridge all the time because if I don't put water bottles in there, then I'm putting big things juice. I have my two tier two by three uh, water bottle holder. Basically you could have it as uh, two separate three bottle holders if you wanted to, but I like to stack them just to have the, you know, more um, surface area on, you know, whatever table I plan to put it on. And really it's super easy. It just fits on. You just gotta make sure that these little uh, curved parts fit on the edges, on I will, all sides, both the sides. Hold on, I will be right back guys. I am so sorry. It's a quick little emergency, but I'll be back. And the back, and then, um, you know, you could even buy more than one set and have this stack multiple high because each one, can function as the top or the bottom as you can see this bottom part has hooks too but basically that's honestly it once you go ahead and do that you can just start putting bottles in wherever you want i have a couple that i've brought here just to demonstrate um they're all uh, different diameters um you know this one being the widest this one being the longest and this one being the smallest and so as you can see it fits them fine you know you just Whenever you need to grab a water bottle, you just simply hook it up, pull it out, and you're good to go. Um, you know, this adds a lot of utility to my cabinet space um, because I'm... Okay, I am so sorry about that, guys. I ran on a shelf or on a, on a countertop and then just have my bottles ready to go. So if you're looking for a really nice, um, you know, two-tier bottle holder to have, this is definitely one that you're going to want to check out. So yeah, again, really straightforward. That's one thing that I love about ClearSpace is that their products are really straightforward, really to the point. And I mean, you basically know what you're going to get and you know, you can at least take it from me at least that it's going to be of the highest quality plastic that you, you know, you can get, whether it's for their plastic storage containers or their plastic water bottle organizer, I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. Now, Fit King is a, a, a mas one of my favorite massage man. I love getting to cover Fit King products. And this one is nothing short of absolutely fantastic. This is the leg and calf air compressor massager. And it's super easy, uh, really great for promoting circulation in your legs and preventing the development of varicose veins. And so uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, I recommend a product like this for like most diabetics like myself. Or people who are just prone to like shin splints or like general leg pain. These things are great. So this is the Fit King. Use it. So that means you see I have it plugged in over here and the core will go a long way that distance and you know part of the couch. So it's you've got that. Look his little puppy OB when he was a puppy. Good. 10 feet of cable to work with. They're on. We had only had OB for like a month or so when I made this video. My girlfriend's legs, as you can see. Now, if we go over here to the display for the controller, you can see the different settings, the different air pressure, as well as the amount of heat you're using and if it's on or off. So obviously this is the on switch. This controls the heat. You have two settings for that. It's max right now. And then if you hit it again, it goes back to, it goes off and then you can choose min or max, off, min or max, whatever you want. Uh, then it has the mode which cycles in between up here and when you do switch modes it will reset your air pressure so if you're using let's say where you want to use sequence and we want to have mild air pressure if i switch to circulation it's going to take it back down so you just figure out what setting you want you have sequence circulation and hole and then you have min mild max for the air pressure obviously max being the highest and then two settings for heat but my girlfriend and i love them they really help relax our calves when our calves are tight after like a workout or something. So they're definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a nice leg massager that includes the added bonus of having heat when they're relaxing your calf muscles.
Now, not only that, but Fit King also does a great job at making massage guns, which is what I'm going to show you with the mini massage gun. Now, what's unique about the mini massage gun is the fact that basically the whole thing is grip. Like, you can choke up on it while you grab it, or you can hold it towards the end, and you don't have to worry about it slipping because it is just... The whole thing is a really nice grip texture. Hey, yo, so here is my Fit King mini massage uh, gun. I'm going... I think I'm going to go back to opening my videos like that. Like, hey, yo. To go ahead and open it up and show you guys everything that it comes with and then let you guys know what I think. So it comes off with this nice little kind of felt carrying bag that I really like. And on the inside, it's kind of this like polyester almost. And then it comes with the massage manual, of course, and then the actual device. So as you can see here, it is um, USB powered and then you need a USB-C that actually goes into the massage thing to charge it. it takes about two to three hours to fully charge and it will last six hours you have the different heads you have a bullet a flat top as you can see the ball and then the y shape and then you go ahead and pull it out and um, you hold the power button for about three seconds and then it starts off uh, charging this is the first level it goes up to four different levels and each level it goes up it there is a I think I'm gonna say this in a little bit but this was like the only thing that I found wrong with the Fit King massager was that there's no real there's no indicator for battery like that's the only pet peeve that I have like it shows the levels of intensity but there's no battery indicator so that like, you kind of gotta do guesswork for guessing how charged your device is going to be. A light for it, but it does not have a light to indicate its charge level. So that's something that you're gonna kind of have to keep up with on your own or just make sure it's charging. And then you wanna turn it off, you just hold the button and then the lights will go off and then you know it's off. It's really cool because the material that's here is basically all grip. So no matter where you put your hand on it, you're gonna have a nice firm grip and you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hand. It also has this little vent at the top for the exhaust for the hot air, depending on when you use it. It will auto cut off after 15 minutes, so. 25K eggs, wow. That's impressive. That's all you need left to get a, a, a free shirt? Let's go. Let's go, PC Phil. Or should I say, let's go, V. Aha, go V lights. Let's go. <laughs> well, if you want to go longer than that, just be sure to hold the power button and turn it back on, and then you're good to go. Putting a head in is super easy. You just push, put a little pressure, and you're good to go. When you want to pull it out, I recommend just twisting a little bit. It snaps out pretty easy. <coughs> but hydrate or dehydrate. All, very good massager. Absolutely. Really easy to use. And you get good battery life out of it, which is absolutely amazing. And this nice carrying case. So if you're looking for a nice little small portable massage gun, then definitely check out the Fit King Deep Tissue Mini Massager. So yeah, again, you can't go wrong with a really good Fit King product, whether it's the calf and leg air compression massagers or a little mini massager to get different joints and parts of your body. You can't go wrong choosing Fit King because they've got you covered. Now, on to one of my favorite portions of tonight's show, the smell goods portion. So this this next product is a candle that I was really happy I got a chance to do. One, because I love Woodwick candles and I don't get them often enough and I should. Love Woodwick candles. You just you get more value out of Woodwick than traditional wicks because it doesn't leave as much residue on the edge of the the, you know, candle container when you're burning it. And two, I had never experienced the smell of orange and eucalyptus together. And I had never thought that I would, but I burned through this candle in three days, let me tell you, because this thing, well, no, I think it was five days. It was five days. I burned through this candle fast, though, because it smelled, it smelled good. It had the whole house smelling good. So th this little monster right here is my eucalyptus and orange scented candle. And I love this thing because the smell of it, like the scent is really great. And the small feature that I really like uh, about this candle, as opposed to a lot of other candles, is that it has a wood wick um, as opposed to your traditional style wick. And I think that that's cool. Now... This thing will offer you about 35 hours of burn time and it's got an amazing calming aromatherapy, um, you know, scent uh, to it. I'm going to go ahead and light it. And now that it's lit, 
um, you know, immediately I can start smelling the essential oils inside of this candle, uh, you know, basically permeating the room. Um, it's made of 100% natural soy wax, and these candles are scented with high-quality essential oils that fill your home with a beautiful aroma. Um, and, you know, as I mentioned, that it's it's aromatherapy, essentially. The eucalyptus and orange um, scent really soothes and refreshes the space. Um, like I said, basically after lighting this candle, I, I could, you know, smell it in the room instantly. Um, it has a very powerful scent, but it's not overpowering you know it, it's strong but it's not too strong and that's something that i really love about it now the only thing about this candle is that it doesn't come with like any kind of top so when you're done with it you just got to blow it out you can't you know blow it out and cover it or anything uh but if you're looking for an absolutely amazing aromatherapy candle this is definitely one to check out it's powerful i love the wood wick and it has an amazing scent i went through it faster than i could appreciate it let me tell you because when that thing well maybe not because when that thing was gone i was sad I was like, that's one of the best smelling candles I've. If benevolence, if you guys are watching this, please send me more of your candles. They are absolutely amazing. I love those wood wicks. They are fantastic. It's a. I'm telling you, it's a. It's a really good candle. It's a really good candle. But maintaining on the topic of smell goods, this next product that we have to show you is the HLS Aroma Diffuser, and this thing is really cool. Like, what kind of wick is that? It looks like it's a. It's a wood wick. And what the reason why I like wood wicks more than I like traditional style wicks is that it burns like a wider radius so that you get like you actually get to burn like all of your candle whereas opposed to a lot of traditional wicks have it where like it leaves a, a, a like a, a pretty decent sized rim of wax around it. Um, also some wood wicks like they're uh at bath and body works they have a set of of wood wick candles that like crackle while you uh they like crackle while you burn them and i those are my favorite type of wood wicks because i like i like the crackle it's great but uh i i honestly i prefer wood wick candles to traditional candles now I just, they're just, they're just better in my opinion. But this next product, I always, this is one of two diffusers that I recommend to people who want to get into aroma diffusing. This one, I, I recommend this one because it's got a really nice aesthetic to it with the wood, but mostly because it comes with the 10 different essential oils. I think that it's, that's why I say I recommend it to beginners. I think that it's a really good starter set for beginners because you can figure out what essential oils you like, which essential oils you don't like, and go from there. The other one that I recommend is, is normally is the Asa Kuki Smart Wi-Fi Diffuser. And I recommend that one because it's one of the most powerful diffusers that I've ever covered, but it's also got the really cool colors so it just depends on the person honestly if they want to give a genuine effort to going into the world of essential oils i recommend them this one yeah yeah honestly honestly yeah you are absolutely correct and this set also contains frankincense which is like one of my favorite smells and I had never encountered an essential oil set that had frankincense so like you get some unique scents out of this one so here's another aroma diffuser that I just absolutely love. What's really cool about it is that it comes with this nice little brush to help clean it. And it also comes with a nice little measuring cup for it. But what really sells me is the light around it and the wooden aesthetic of it. Now, when you turn this button on, this is the light button. This simply activates the light and it's gonna go ahead and cycle through some colors. If I hit the mode button, it'll allow it to do one three and six hours and then if i press it a fourth time after that it's just going to turn off since there's no water in it just now if i try to hit the mode button it's simply going to turn it off because it's going to detect that there's no water in there um or maybe not there you go yeah so it detected that there was no water in there um and it turned off on its own without me having to press it the fourth time but i'm going to go ahead and 
put some water in there. Now what's also really cool about this specific diffuser is that it comes with all of these different essential oils to choose from. Starting from the left side, it has orange flower, rosemary, lavender, this one is tea tree, cinnamon, eucalyptus, frankincense, cedar, lemon, and peppermint. So I have all these cool um, essential oils to choose from. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick frankincense because um, you know, I, I love the smell of frankincense and myrrh. And so I'm going to go ahead and put... It's the Catholic schooling coming out of me, frankincense and myrrh. A couple of drops in there. Um, and it's really cool because you don't need a lot of drops um, in there. Um, as I proceed to put a lot of drops in there because I just I just like putting a lot of drops in mine, honestly. But still, another reason why I recommend this one is because like you see how much essential oils I put in there. Like that's how much I put every time. I have I've ran this thing. So we moved into this place in May, and that's when I got them. And I've run that thing every day. Now it is almost the end of the year, and I'm not even close to running out of essential oils. Like I'm not. And it comes with so many of them. So you get a tons of hours of use out of this thing. Um, oh, and it smells really strong. I can already smell it. I just put it into the water and I can already smell it really strong. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on, go ahead and turn on the lights because who doesn't like cool cycling lights? And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the mode button twice so that it's set for three hours. And then it takes just a little bit to, to get to going, but you're gonna start seeing that smoke um, or mist rather come out of the top and there it is it's starting slowly but surely and it's coming out and that scent hits you immediately so if you're looking for a really nice wood aesthetic featuring some cool cycling rgb lights in a diffuser this is definitely one that you're going to want to check out absolutely love that diffuser it's absolutely amazing comprehensive and fantastic now the next product that we have on the carousel is a very unique game and if you like beer pong or beer pong-esque style games this is definitely going to be one for you to check out so let's go jump right into it hey guys nikato with dragon bloggers here today to show you a bounce battle now this is an easy to learn and quick to play game you just choose your color pick your battle and bounce in to win now what's really cool is as you can see it comes with these really nice ping pong style balls they uh, bounce really well. I love the color. This is a very vibrant orange and it has a very, very nice looking white ball too. Now you have so many different games that you can play. You have 3D tic-tac-toe, which basically you're the first to bounce three sets Amanda, of three in a row. Oh. You know. Amanda, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment Live Show. We're absolutely happy to have you here. Thank you for the follow. And Yong C, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you for joining. Standard tic-tac-toe. Uh, bird's eye tic-tac-toe, which you have to basically do the same thing, but instead of forward, um, it's going to be, um, you know, like at from a top the angle so you have to get like three across here th in instead of on this plane of it and so i think that's really cool there's other games such as lucky 13 battle great wall battle point ball battle war chest battle alphabet soup battle nine cup battle level out battle and h-o-r-s-e battle and you know honestly this game is really unique it's a really unique take on the pong style like games and i thought that it was really cool because they have like expansion packs for it that you can get like different add-ons extra balls that kind of thing and i think it's really cool because it's something that you can play with friends you can get really it's one of those games where you can get really competitive about really heated about too and so that's one of the things that i absolutely love about it and that's what makes it a really great game and a really unique game because it's it's like pong like pong has never been played before for the most part all right, moving on to the next product. The next two products are two products that I both love because I love brain teaser style puzzles. And so I'm gonna tilt my camera down here so we can see. Hello. And so this is the Geiker Super Blocks. So I love this thing first off because it's just a really fun game to play. It does take AA batteries. So you make sure you have AA batteries on hand. And what's really cool is you start off, um, you know, at a couple levels and it'll tell you right here 
what color pieces you're going to be using. So, you know, you have red, yellow, green, and blue pieces. To turn it on, you just hold the little power button right here. And then it will tell you what level you're on. So I'm on 51 right now. And then you, as you can see right here, how the blue and the green pieces are lit up. That means this puzzle is only going to be solved using the green and blue pieces. So I can take the yellow and red ones and move them to the side. So now that I'm here, now that I've got all my pieces, I'm gonna keep all my pieces right here so you guys can kind of see. Um, let us begin. So how do I want to do this? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, No, uh, I asked Geico to send you the Smart Four that I have. I hope they, I hope they do too. I love, I love Geico games. They're great. Uh, wait, no, wait, no. Oh, unless, no, um. Uh, I only got, oh, wait, unless, 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 wait, 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 hold on. Yeah. Got some stuff up now. Um, no, no, ah, uh, I get stuck. Oh, wait, hold on. Unless, um, no, um, I guess I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong about the bottom. No. Wait. I said no. no. I can't do that. If I. Hmm. This combination is wrong. No, but that wouldn't make sense. I stop. Oh dang, I'm like stuck stuck too. Oh wait, hold on. What if I... Oh, wait. But then I don't have anywhere to put these on here. Come on! I'm so. Whoa, wait, wait. No, that doesn't work either. Oh man, I'm so close. What if I. No, that's not gonna work. Wait. No, that's not gonna work. 
I'm so close. Don't want to be my cheerleader. Help me. Help me. Who's good at puzzles? Who wants to help me? No. Oh, I'm so close. I can feel it in my bones. Is. Did it. I'm a genius. Let's go! I did it. Are you guys proud of me? And so, yeah, it's just like I said, it's a ton of fun. It's really easy. Like, you can lose track of time with this thing. And that's something that I love about it is that, like, it never gets boring either. And then when you take it out, it automatically goes to the next level. And it just, like, I mean, you can sit here for hours and just have a ton of fun with it. It is just, it is fantastic. It is great. Now, I've this is so like what you guys are seeing for super blocks is my first playthrough. I haven't played through all the levels, but there's so many. The next game that I have to show you is Super Slide, which is the one that I got first. And I basically sat there one day and played all the levels. So I've gone through all the le levels. I've actually cycled back through until I saw one and I was like, oh, wow, I went all the way back to the beginning. Let's go back, back to the beginning. Okay, let me grab this one. Okay, so this is Super Slide. This is this is my baby. This is the first one that I got. So what's one thing to understand about Super Slide also is that, like these these are not magnetic, like at all. Um, what's cool about them too? is that you don't have to worry about them, you know, messing up your phone screen, demagnetizing your cards or whatever. And they're only slightly magnetic to this surface. So like be careful about dropping this thing cuz like I'm going to shake it just a little bit and you see how the like the pieces fall out. So you got to be careful about that. But <coughs> this square in the middle, the goal is to get this piece into that square based on the configuration that they show you. Hi guys, not sleeping tonight. Might as well support. Hey, thank you so much. We appreciate you. So yeah, that's the goal. It's also battery powered like the super blocks before it. And when you turn it on, it basically will tell you what level you're on. So this is 43. So I've cycled back around to 43 and then it will show you the configuration of the pieces. So you just want it to match that. And then once you have it matching that, which give me a second to do, then you just simply hit the button, the red button at the top to lock in the configuration. And then you are good to start playing Super Slide. All right, let's see. What do I wanna do here? Well, that was easy. Bing bong. I've already done it. It is one of those hard to do puzzles. Now it gets harder as you go on, but I mean, like I just finished that one super fast. So like that one wasn't a good example. I can actually, you know what? I can do one more. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I gotta go back. Back a level. So yeah, I mean like some of, so like they do get harder. Like I, I promise you they get harder because I've gone through this whole game once. And I know for a fact there were some where I was stuck there for like at least an hour or two. So some of them are a lot harder than others, but for the most part, eh, they just keep me entertained. All right. So now my orientation is matching what's up here. Lock in. Okay. This one might be a little harder.
no bueno. Um. Oh, that was easy. Boom. I'm calling it a night. It was great hanging out with you as always. Stay well and stay hydrated. Oh, thank you so much, PC Phil. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good night, man. Take it easy. But yeah, so super easy game, super fun. Uh, it definitely does keep you occupied. It's really cool too. Um, I like I said, I love this game. I love the brain teaser style games, and that's one of the reasons why I love Geiker. Um, they do really good brain teasers. I mean, they sit there and keep me distracted because Lord knows my ADHD mind will wander if I don't have a task to um, focus on and do. And so Geiker gives me something to do and something that's fun too. Like that's the that's the thing. Like it's 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 actually genuinely fun. I like I I really do enjoy getting to use the Geiker products. And so if you're looking for a really awesome like brain teaser style game, like you can't go wrong with a Geiker product. I promise you that you'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. Hang on, I retighten my uh, my mic thing it's like i don't know how it gets loose but i need to switch it with the other one that i have back there because this one is just not doing it for me right now but yeah so moving on to the next products that we have on our carousel we've got two htv rot uh products to go through which are really cool like vinyl products uh there the one is a cutting mat the first one that we're going to watch is a cutting mat and the second one is a just a vinyl heat transfer roll and they're really cool i got to make my first little vinyl t-shirts with these and it was really awesome like i did simple designs but it was fun nonetheless hey guys nikita with dragon bloggers here to show you something pretty cool these are the htv run variety cutting mats this is a three pack that also comes with a free scrape that you can use to smooth out bubbles and wrinkles when you're using uh you know vinyl for your prints and stuff and what's really cool is that um so all the mats have this protective film that you can pull off what's really cool is that they're washable and stuff uh, but what i love is that they're different varieties so if you look right here going from top to bottom this is the blue one as you can see right there in the corner it says light grip then we'll go to the green one and as you can see it says standard grip and then of course the purple one is going to be the strong grip and so uh, basically they help you fit whatever needs you have when it comes to cutting out your vinyl and using and stuff and then i love the fact that it comes with a free little scraping tool too that you can use so if you're looking for a really awesome cutting mat to use uh, to get your vinyl prints exactly how you want them definitely check out these ones from htvr run and so yeah the htv run ones that i use there are the exact same ones that are in the next video, which is where I show you their heat transfer vinyl. Which, like I said, this was like my, like, I I got some uh, HTV Ron tra heat transfer paper. That's awesome. They, uh, the t-shirt the, the press that they sent me was really, was really cool. Was really cool. Honestly. Hey guys, Nikita with Dragon Bloggers here to show you something really cool. This is the HTV Rant Heat Transfer Vinyl. It's easy to cut, weed, and transfer. Has super great stickiness, and it's a great length at being 12 inches by 8 feet. It's super easy to use. All I have to do is get it set up here on my HTV Rant cutting mat so I can line it up and get the pattern cut out that I want. I'm going to do a simple square for purposes here. And as you can see, it's super Super easy to weed I have my weeding tool here I'm just gonna go ahead and go on the edge and just show you how easy it is to peel off now don't let this shock you I just have some very chubby fingers and no fingernails so it's really hard for me to get a grip but once you get a grip it's super easy to peel off super easy to do and um, basically I'm able to just peel it off really easily and get my perfect square um, out and about and ready to paste on to whatever shirt here are the scraps and just you know super easy to just pull off and get everything set up now if you do struggle a little bit and you don't have a heated surface what you can do is just wave a lighter around the top but overall this is a great heat transfer vinyl and i would highly recommend it for any beginner or expert wanting to make their own t-shirts so yeah it was a really good nice heat transfer vinyl and i i enjoyed getting to put a nice little square onto one of my favorite t-shirts and so i i walk around with a square on my back now because it's it, that's that's the kind of cool guy that i am 
Uh, but we are at our last product for the evening. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my microphone real quick and then turn out the lights so we can see it in action. But this last product that we have on the carousel is one that I have come to love. Uh, shout out in sabers for doing these. I, I just, the video, I'll show you guys the video that I made for them too. Um, and I, I'm excited to get to work with them because they are a, they make a wonderful lightsaber. And so let me go turn off the lights so I can show you guys. So here is the lightsaber. This is the Mandalorian style hill. I love, if you look right here, you can see how it kind of resembles the visor of a Mandalorian, which I absolutely love about it. And um, this is one of the, the coolest lightsabers that I have. So I'm gonna turn it on. And it's super vibrant. Like it's super vibrant. Has a really nice smooth swing and a cool clash too. Now it has cool effects, like I can, I can do this once to like block blaster bolts, which I think is really cool. Um, if I hold it and it flashes twice, I can change the color too. And it's got 12 different colors that I can change it to, which I absolutely love about it. Now what's also cool is it has a different set of functionality when you turn it completely off or like, well, not turn it completely off, but you put it in like sleep mode. So I can change, you hear it? Our volume. I volume. So it's just changing the volume levels. Now when I do two, like when I hold it for two seconds, it changes the sound profile. So like that was been solo. So like now when I turn it on, it sounds one way. Now, if I do that same thing again, put it in sleep mode, hold it for two seconds, change the profile. Oh, I love this one, but they all sound different. So there's also um, we're gonna do it one more time. The force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Yeah, and so this is Vader's. So like all of them have different ignition sounds, and there's different profiles in here that you can use. And that's one thing that I love about this saber is that. It has a it has a general grievous one. Ooh. I love this thing. But yeah, if you're looking, yeah, this one is definitely better than the Luke Heidi one. Actually, um, this one is better than the CL Ton one too. And um if this were the Neo Pixel version, this one is definitely better than the Tagula one also. Like I would have loved to gotten to have gotten the Neo Pixel version of this blade. Um, because this is really well made. And I really do enjoy it. Like I'm so I'm so happy to be working with Insabers and I really want to experience some more of their um some more of their products because this is a really well-made lightsaber. I also have the silver one. It's in the living room right now um, because I was I was using it to, I was having a lightsaber fight with my girlfriend earlier. But um, <clears throat> no, these these things are, are really awesome, um, and I love the like how how it works and everything. And what I also think is cool is that like the hilt itself unscrews, so I can see like the actual board for the device itself too. Um, if I wanted to, I could change the sound fonts, but this is how you unscrew it to charge it. And what's also really cool, which I can't show you today, but the pommel on the bottom comes off so that you can make it a double, um, you can make it a double blade of lightsaber. Can you swing it hard without breaking it? Oh, absolutely. So this is a polycarbonate blade, which is different from a NeoPixel blade because a NeoPixel blade has electronics in it, but there is absolutely nothing in this thing. Like it's meant for heavy dueling. Like I, I will whack my ground right now. This is like my favorite part 
of the test is like just. Oops. But yeah, no, you can smack the crap out of this thing. And, you know, it's just, it's just absolutely fantastic. Can you show me the kyber crystal inside? I wish, I wish I had a kyber crystal. But yeah, this thing is perfect for, for dueling. Like, this thing is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Angelica, I do gotta be a little careful. I hit my ceiling fan. But, um, let me go turn on my lights real quick. Because I really want to show you guys the video that I made for this with my girlfriend. Uh, I worked really hard on it, so I hope you guys like it. Ugh. All right. I got my headset back on. This is left. Okay. All right, yeah. So I want to show you guys the video that I made because I am nerdy like that. And I want to share the product. Welcome to the dark side. You should never smack your saber around. I love smacking my saber around. It's like my favorite thing to do. Okay, videos. Where is it? In saber. There we go. Okay. And just so you guys know, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but, uh, this is, uh, some artwork that I have for my, my Star Wars podcast, but, uh, this is, this is the Mandalorian in Saber video, guys. Throughout the entirety of the Star Wars timeline, Mandalorians have been the bane of both the Jedi and the Sith, sometimes both. And with this amazing saber from InSabers, you can show your love for the Mandalorian culture in style with this amazing RGB lightsaber. This thing is made from T6 aircraft aluminum, has 10 sound fonts, 12 colors, and a two to four hour charge time. Now these are all the parts that it comes with. It comes with a really nice stand so that you can display your amazing new lightsaber out. And of course it comes with the actual lightsaber itself, which we'll do a test with. The color is super vibrant and it's really easy to interact, but we'll show you what all the buttons do later in the video, so stay tuned. Now, this also comes with a really amazing 32-inch saber blade that is perfect for dueling. It's, in fact, made for heavy dueling, and I love the bullet tip that it has on the end. And in the next packaging... It comes with the screws and the charger for the blade and the saber. Now, the screws, they come with extra. You only need three, and you may need to make sure that they're tight so that you can go about having your fun dueling with the removable polycarbonate blade. And then this right here is what you can use to combine two sabers of the same make. So if you have two Mandalorian sabers, you can have a Mandalorian double saber. Now here is where we can get into some of the functionality of the saber. So once this blue light is on, if you tap it once, the blade will come on and it's really vibrant, really bright. Now if you hold it one second, you can change the effect to like a clash lock effect, which absolutely is amazing. If you're prone to epilepsy, you might not want to stare at it too long, but this thing is super bright and super vibrant. Now when you hold it for two seconds or two flashes, you can change the color of the blade to one of 12 colors of your choosing. They're all super bright and super vibrant and you just got to pick the one that goes best for what you want to do with your amazing mandalorian in saber saber what's also cool is that the saber features the ability to just do clash on a single button press so you can pretend like you're deflecting saber bolts and then if you hold it for you know, I'm not saying it's like the main reason I wanted to start streaming, but when I when I found out that there were like lightsabers on Amazon, I wanted to try to like see if it was possible to get lightsabers. And now that like Justin, okay, first off, Justin spoils me. So Justin sends me lightsabers, you know, that he pays for out of pocket. But like, this is the first ones that were actually like sent. And I'm super excited because I, I would love to work with InSabers more. But not only that, but I hope that like other uh, lightsaber companies see these videos and will ask me to make videos for it. Cause that'd be cool. That would be really cool three seconds it will turn off the blade now once you turn off the blade you access a whole different set of effects that you can change too so just doing the one flash will change the volume of the actual blade or mute it and then holling it twice will allow you to change the sound font so i'll let you guys experience right here
And that's just one of the things that I love about my Mandalorian and Saber. What's also cool is that, as I mentioned earlier, if you have two, you can combine them together. Now, what I'm doing right here is unscrewing the actual hilt so that you can see where you plug this thing into charge because it does get a little confusing if you don't read the manual or you're not used to it. But there, ha there are two grips that you can unscrew. This is the upper hilt unscrew to charge it. And then you'll notice that if the I'm going to change my hands here and this is how you will unscrew the bottom portion so that you can use the little attachment that it comes with to make a double saver so I'm going to speed through the second one so you guys can see what it looks like in the end this is one thing that I loved about it was getting to do uh, the double bladed saber oh man it was so cool and once you're done, you've got an absolutely amazing double-bladed Mandalorian saber from InSabers. They did such an amazing job on this. I love getting to pay homage to the Mandalorian culture because they're just so cool and awesome. And having a lightsaber dedicated to them is something that is just great for a Star Wars fan like myself. So if you're looking for an absolutely fantastic blade to pick up a really nice RGB blade that you can duel with and show off, definitely check out this one. You can take it right onto the battlefield to defend your honor. I absolutely loved getting to make that video. That was so much fun. I am so excited to um, see how InSabers like the video. I really hope they enjoy it. Um, and so I'm looking forward to working with them and working with other lightsaber brands in the future. Hopefully, I uh, hopefully I get some, get some recognition for those videos, but that has been the stream for this evening, guys. Don't forget. I, I have to start watching Andor. Oh, definitely. Andor is good. Andor is really good. Uh, before I head out though, um, can't forget the giveaways that we currently have going on so uh on the 20th which is oh today oh two are ending today sorry um the brio mg2 deep tissue muscle massager and the Wemax go advanced portable laser projector then on the 22nd we're doing the 200 dollars gift card giveaway uh on the 31st that is the giveaway for the ef ecoflow river 2 there is a um chance to win a valve steam deck uh the half i could not I, I i lost the the unit of measurement the half terabyte model a portable handheld gaming pc uh with arv and that ends on the 15th of uh the first month of the new year so january 15th and then the last giveaway which was the first product that we showed on stream today is for the fantech evo 300 power station which is just again an insurance product it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it and so that is the stream for today everyone thank you all so much for being here thank you for putting up with me for two hours and 15 minutes i love you guys i will catch you guys i'll be back here tomorrow but not wait yeah tomorrow's wednesday yeah i will be back here tomorrow um, but not before you guys get hit with a James here stream during the morning. So, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I will catch y'all tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scouts. I love you and get some rest, everyone. Catch you later.